couple days ago. Dylan should be arriving in about 30 minutes. So let's do a little preparation then. Hello there, stranger. How may I help you? Good evening, uh, this is a fortune teller shop. Yes, I'm here to tell you all about your fortunes. Did you by chance want it to see what might be in store for you in the future? Uh, how long does that take? Well, my next appointment's in 30 minutes, so let's get it. Sure. In a short, quick burst. Now, have you ever had your fortune read before? Not officially, no. Hmm. Okay. I want you to extend your hand right here, your right hand, palm up. Good. I'm going to be doing a quick little digest for you. We could go more in-depth, but for now, considering how this is your first time, I'm going to focus in on three primary lines. I'm going to be looking at your heart line very quickly. And I can tell from your heart line, it's a very faded line. It's very much towards the surface of your hand, broken, cracked, and severed. I can tell that you're not someone who's very connected with your heart or matters of connection with other people. I've heard that before, yeah. That you're more disconnected emotionally from those around you? In a manner, they use different words, but yeah, pretty much. The hand does not lie. Now, the next line is going to be your headline. Your headline is quite marked. Headline? Very deep. <laughs> yeah, like a headline. Explain it to me. Like a newspaper headline. Right? You interrupted this fortune for a second-rate two-bit joke. I would appreciate silence from my clients. Okay. I'll now, as for your headline. Try and be quiet. I can. As for your headline, you seem to be someone who's very rational and logical. Someone who's very cerebral. Would you find yourself lost inside your head? For most of your days? I think that's probably safe to say. Although I did come into a fortune teller shop, so I don't mm. could probably say something about my cerebralness, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps an intuitive path is opening up before you. Lastly, I'm going to be examining your lifeline. Your lifeline does seem to be fractured about this point right here. What age is that? It seems to be your present age. Now, has there been any significant change in the past two years? To me? Yes, because otherwise the significant change is ahead of you. Very quickly ahead of you. Uh, I don't know. So this fortune teller stuff, are you able to see, like, is it like a, a camera? Can you, like, see what I was doing yesterday or an hour ago? Well, I cannot see the intuition, energy, God energy, stars tell me so what no. it is that lies inside of your hands. And the answer is yes. Yes, I can. Perhaps not in detail. Perhaps it's a very blurry image, a very obscure, vague concept. Perhaps I just see colors like yesterday was orange. But yes, I can see. Does that answer your question? I think that was yesterday. It was the smog. Did that? The like, smog. Yeah. I saw a smog in my visual image. And I think, honestly, that... My vision of yesterday, despite the smog, is clear. I was just suggesting maybe that was why it was orange. And your suggestion? Or suggested 
by the stars. They have shown through you. That and makes, you have a better concept of yesterday. I think that makes perfect sense. I can't argue against that. Do you have any further questions to ask me? Um, you're licensed, right? You, I saw you had a thing. I came in the door. There was a... Correct. Yeah. I have assisted... I have attended Harvard, and I graduated cum laude Smith on their psych uh, psychi uh, psychic path. The divination major with a tassiography minor, and I did have a study abroad program when it comes to manifestation, and I did take a Coursera course on aura reading so I do find that I am more than well equipped at this position I was I was doubting you a little bit I admit but you know Coursera is it's a great alternative yeah. when it comes to education yeah so um, I don't really have that many I mean I guess whatever you would do as a standard reading for a regular sit law abiding citizen who would come in here and if you help them uh, not be visible for a little while. I can tell from your aura. Smog? Periwinkle. Periwinkle. And that is the color of a law-abiding citizen. And let me tell you something, I greatly respect your service. And let me tell you something else, because of that, I'm going to be offering you a great deal, great deal. I'm going to be giving you, on top of the hand reading, which we already did, so the, you know, marker, the tally, the record is counting. I'm going to be giving you a crystal ball reading, and I'm also going to be giving you an ethically sourced tooth reading. Now, the crystal ball will give me the essence of you, the, um vibe of you, let's say. The tooth reading will be a little more specific because the teeth don't lie. I've never heard of that tooth reading. Well, were your ears open about two seconds ago? Because you frankly just heard about it. I mean, before when you Before when you first heard it? Before I first heard it, I hadn't heard it. Mm. Well. How do you know those are ethically sourced? Let's just say... I sourced them. Oh. So. Like a tooth fairy. Yes. Yeah. Like a tooth fairy. So you harvest your own teeth. Wow. That's yes. In not fact, your own teeth. Right. But, yeah. All of these teeth are fake. I said, no thanks. I'd much rather have teeth made of plutonium or something. Whatever is non-killing me if I put it in my gums. Now. <sighs> I'm going to be reading the vibration of your past, present, and future. This is going to be like Charles Dickens, if Charles Dickens was a little more fabulous. So, we're going to begin with the past. We can find a lot of information regarding your future in the past. We will then be reflecting on your present, but we can pretty much safely say that that's going to be more of like a shape and a color. And then as for your future, we'll open up that book and see what exactly the trajectory of your life is from color, The color and the shape. Yeah, the color that's and the shape. It's a Foo Fighters album. Dude died, <sighs> dude died today. Well, he has some oak tree meets ficus energy, so I really do feel like he will be reincarnated into an actual... Musician? I was thinking Sparrow, uh -huh. but yes, perhaps. Well, Sparrow, they sing... They're songbirds, aren't they? Sparrows? Now that was poetry. Yeah. But the problem is, he was the drummer, so... What are you, what are you saying about drummers? I'm saying that they weren't the singers. Right. Objectively speaking. Now, before you decide to interrupt me again with your inane, in comprehensible I'm just inept. talking about current, current events. That's all I'm talking about. I'm wondering if we could focus less on my immediate past. And I'm fine with the past past, but... Did you just interrupt me talking about how you've interrupted me? Cease your inception of rudeness. 
presently. It's going. Keep your lips together. It's going right? deeper and deeper. It's like a Hold two like six levels. Two fingers, lips closed. Lips closed. Get Thank it. you. I'm going to be looking into your past now. It's a little rude, but that's fine. Okay. I'm going to shut up now. Shut up. I'm going to be looking into your past now. I see a past in which you weren't quite satisfied. I see a past in which you were perhaps not at your prime peak. And I see a past in which you were very um, begrudging, you were very, um, perhaps, uh, unsatisfied, if I have not already said unsatisfied, but if the stars tell me to say unsatisfied twice, that means it's extra emphasized. So now in your present, I can tell it's filled with a sort of orange-yellow sort of vibe. It's very much um, giving me kind of okay, but not kind of okay. And in this orangey yellow vibe, I can tell that the shape is a rhombus. I see, I see diamonds. I think they're like reflections of your like towel. I don't know what, what I'm looking at. There. It's cool. I like it. I see a rhombus. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. A yellow rhombus. orange rhombus. Because you are currently askewed out of your current position in life there is a point that you want to be at and there is a point that you are currently at and the distance between those two points are at a skew much like a rhombus that is your current predilection i hope you captured that because this information will not be repeated once heard once lost now we move on to your future please do pay more attention to this one because this Dang. is in regards to the next following sequence of events okay i'm, I'm just i'm not the quickest like I've been told that I'm not the quickest tool in the shed. I'm like a slower tool. So I'm just... You're the quickest at interrupting me. I'm... You're the quickest at spotting a moment in which it would be perfect to just stab my words, stab my sentence through, almost to a point where I would forget about its memory, only for me to recollect it because the very spite I have resurrected it as a ghost needing to haunt I... my brain. I'm not. I'm not trying to upset you in any way. I, uh, You're trying to interrupt me. No, which I'm not trying is to. an excellent way to inconsequentially start my path parallel you to your rips. constant ins I'm just, That's crazy. Look at that. How dare you remark upon the cleanliness of my own home after having interrupted me three times and decided to say some inane, incomprehensible, unintelligible nothingness. I'm just saying like one of the key things about like, one of the things that gets overlooked the most is dusting. So maybe, I mean dusting, this isn't really dirt. Right? It's How about practice dirt. on overlooking it? Get into your third eye, manifest the capacity to look over things. Where's my third eye? Between your brows. Got it. Now, if you wouldn't mind, me and my third eye are trying to look into your future. And let me tell you, these readings are not de priced at a standard rate. Depending on how much time I take, that's how much money I grab. You don't need to worry about whatever money you need, up to $26. That's good. Um, I gotcha. That's nice to know. Yeah. Money's no object, and I don't object to spending money. I can tell that you are going to be priced accurately, um, and compensation will be in your near future. I do see a lot about money, though, actually. I see so that you've said, come... I brought it up. Right? I brought it up Have you come into... No, don't answer. I must only divinate it. You've come into great fortune recently. You I came into a fortune teller's shop. That was where I came into this. You um, also seem. If you say I came into great fortune, I came into a great fortune teller's shop. You be... also seem to have a lot of water energy to you. Now, water energy is usually designated with emotional depth. However, if your emotional depth has been blocked off, that means all of that energy is charged and stored within you, which might jimmy up the brain. I see that you might have done something that was a bit 
erratic, if not contrary to the current state of society, I also see that perchance you have doubts in regards to your current state regarding your future. I don't know, but I can tell you that my, all this talk about water is kind of making my bladder feel full. Mm. Um, mm. Well, there's a restroom right over there if you need to use it. Is it alright if I do? Yes. Okay. Just kind of save the seat for me. Yeah. This door? Yeah. Paper? Yes, it's um by the beneath the sink. Okay, thanks. Do you have any lanolin based hand uh, moisturizer? Um, it's in the pantry or in the cabinet above the sink. quite old. Perhaps an antiquarian, historian, rip shop person. A crucifix. A man of faith. Or tea leaf holder. Perhaps someone with regards to health. Yeah. Last question. Uh, of course. Do, do you have any quick wine? Yes, it's in the pantry in front of the toilet. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Perhaps a smoker. Definitely a smoker. Hmm. Tobacco, flour. Cultured man. Perhaps a man into music. smokes. Perchance also ethically sourced remains. Did you find everything to your satisfaction? I'm a bit of a shy peer, so... Mm, I could tell that from... It took me a while. The color of your present aura. Orange yellow. I like your bathroom. It's nice. 
Yeah, I like to line it with lavender and vanilla. Mm. It really aids to the relaxation of it. Do your hands feel soft after washing up? Oh, yeah. I didn't wash them. Well, at least I know the dry sounds are the result of my lotion-infused hand wash. Finally, we're going to read your teeth. So... From this tooth reading, it is going to be very highly specific. You might find it to be shocking. Please don't find anything alarming. Oh, this it's is totally, totally cool. These are your teeth, huh? Yes. My actual teeth. It's all going to be fun. Cool. Now. I'm going to be closing my eyes, and I'm going to be just swirling my teeth around, allowing them to guide me and find the specific position or lack thereof that the current future is holding for. If I so much as feel your fingers getting in the way of my reading. First of all, my third eye sees all. Second of all, you will affect the reading. And third of all, the stars will attack you for having disturbed the process. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Is your third eye like actually like a nest cam or something? Listen, my third eye is the star's vision. My vision is clear because the stars are clear. When it's a cloudy night, my third eye just gets all foggy. But tonight is going to be crystal clear. Okay, I'm not gonna. Do not, not touch. Away. I'm not getting in the way. Do not touch. I'm not getting in the way. Don't do it. I'm not, I didn't. I, I touched one. One I touched, might as well be touched, 100. I touched that one. I, I barely I see. moved it. I see. My third eye saw, my third eye fixes. It looked like there was a cavity in it. That's all I saw. My current teeth will never have any cavities, and that is why I removed them all. Hmm. Enamel's overrated. That's what I've been saying. Okay. Oh. Please, that is a bottle of my personal bloodied urine. I was going to say. And it smells like piss. <laughs> of course. What else would it smell like? I guess. I would appreciate if you would let go of my good luck charm. Sorry. I didn't realize how important it was. It's heavily important. It just looked like a bottle of piss. It has been and... blessed by the moon. And I can't have your grubby hands all over my bloodied moon-charged urine. I did wash my hands. I was, I was being... Being a jerk, I washed him. I used your hand lotion. Tall. The disrespect you have shown me has almost reached max capacity. Here's max capacity. You're here. I don't expect you to make a dash for the finish line during the duration of this tooth reading, but I would appreciate it if you would stay silent. Right. Silent. Is there any? Silent. Is no, anyone? Silent. Okay. Now we are going to be reading your tooth reading. I can tell around here in your career position that you have been a little bit unsatisfied with your current position in life, although granted it gives you a lot of leisure, luxury, and prestige, particularly within the context of. Okay, can I tell you that I had a boss? Yes. Is the, not my current boss. But the boss I had before the Silence. one that I had. Prestige and luxury in society, especially in a society in which they value money over life. Of course. So, mm -hmm. I can discern that you perchance work in the medical field, and more specifically as the vibrations of this reading strike me like a drum, um, a doctor. So I... Therefore, doctor. Yes, that's your profession. Hmm. Now, I see in your 
um, philosophical, um, metaphysical category that you are around here, right there. He's like five, right, right there. Here, right there. A man of faith. I can tell that you are deeply motivated to your core to carry that um, iconic image of your philosophical um, leader, your sort of moral authority with you at all times, where you feel alone, abandoned, and almost undefensible when you are left without, you know, your father basically holding your hand the entire way. Now, I would I say... I go to church for the ladies. The core yes. faith you find is... You go to church for the ladies? I mean, it's... And God too, right? But, of course. Yeah. Um, you probably carry some strong iconography, um, probably of Christ or... I thought you were talking about porn. Christ's image, yeah. the Blessed yeah. One. I was about to say the Virgin Mary. Okay. But let's just We're not talking swipe about her right off the table. Stuff. We're not talking about let's, let's swipe her right off the table. Virgin Mary, in my eyes. Right. Here we have. I'm detecting a little bit of a predilection. I'm detecting a little bit of a savoir faire, je ne sais quoi, sort of. What are those? What was that? It's. The divine language of the stars. So. What languages do the planets speak is practically what you have just asked me. And thank God that humanity hasn't quantified that into such a small, sterile piece of useless information. So, this energy... This energy right here, this section right here, is Can I ask one question? Lot. Can I ask one question You're before you do You're addicted to interrupting just, me, just aren't like you? Question. You really do love Here's just coming in and interrupting the stars. My, okay, but I'm, I'm not going to ask you any more questions. I have one question. I have like a, a, a stimming thing that I have to do. I'm wondering if I could just hold the crystal ball while no, you're doing No, that's this. just your Scorpio acting up. Now... You have a c addiction to cocaine. That's what this energy right here is telling me. That's why you shouldn't interrupt me. You have just entered Sagittarius to the conversation, and Sagittarius has a predilection for stimulants. Is that a, like a metaphorical addiction to cocaine you were referencing there? Or is that you know, I'm literally I mean, addicted to on cocaine? On what level of reality do we actually exist? Is this a dream? Is this reality? Is this a, is this a hallucination? A fantasy? On what reality really matters to you? Metaphysical, physical, dreamology, Nicole? But what really this matters is empty. that. Oh, wait, it had the, the teeth in it. Had the teeth yeah, in it. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that quick. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Yeah, you're pretty, I think you're pretty quick, though. Now, in this energy right here, this section right here, it's telling me that you have um, a need, so to say, for um, global culture. Um, it's the culture of it. Um, you also have a need to really um, collect antique pieces. You have something of a need to only ever have very historical, very personality infused um, objects, possessions, whatever floats your boat. Now, as for this section right here, right there, here, I can tell that you are running away from something. You are definitely like impulsively, let's say, you could also say, um, uh, spiritually, divinely, um, for what is spontaneity or impulsivity, if not just divinity inspired, um, running away from something to where that is the true question. Now, what I am seeing is that you have come to an impasse where now there are two paths before you and they will come to unfold very quickly. Now one path will lead you into even more complications and the other path will be as simple as a whistle. Whatever one comes to you, you will know which one you are on, but only after you have opened the door to each. And once you have opened that door, you can no longer unopen that door. That was Lucifer. He was blessing me. He has now left along with his green energy. Green is for nature. 
Lucifer is nothing more than a symbol for that which is within all light, enlightenment. Now, can you bring it back? He's decided to leave. You can't command him. That's his whole thing. He's a free spirit, a bohemian child. Now, this last little piece does tell me that you have liquidated all of your assets and now carry with you a sizable sum of money, mostly for perchance self-preservation or perchance to fund your future life as it comes. Um, but what is for sure noted and known is that though it is pretty much what the teeth have um, told me is your current fortune and future. There's, oh, uh, unhealthy relationship with human remains right there, right there. Um, it's, it doesn't seem to be the most ethical per chance. Um, I'm sure there might be some HIPAA compliance rules that you're breaking, but hey, you're a doctor, you know? Like, once dead, well, who cares? So I, I can definitely tell you from here. So I'm a doctor. I, I, I said that. Are you familiar with the phrase, speed, not haste? Speed, not haste. Speed, not haste. I can break it down, but I'm not familiar with it. No, it's the I, first I can, time. I feel like there's a lot of words. Like you're saying a lot of words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot. the stars are divinely inspiring my mouth it's much like i am jeremiah speaking for god but it's me and i am speaking I for jeremiah was a frog jeremiah was a bullfrog and not only that he was a friend of mine but he passed away some of these teeth are his just like taylor hawkins taylor hawkins gives me he gives me ficus mixed with cactus and I can tell that in his new life, he has become a Sparrow. lotus flower. Oh, you're all over the place with that. I guess what, what I was really wanting to know was just like, you said a lot, and I don't have the greatest attention span. I wonder if you just sum up like what these teeth mean. Like, you know, just give me the, the, the cliff's notes. Of course. Penguin Digest. Yes. Doctor. Yeah. Unhealthy relationship with some type of remains. Um, addiction, right about here, specifically to la cocaína, um, right about here, running away from something, liquidated all of your assets. This and doesn't belong there. That, mm. that contained the spirit of my chihuahua, Hershey, and you have just eliminated Hershey for me, but that's fine. Hershey has apparently decided to liberate her spirit from that in which I have enchanted her. Hershey didn't want to be on a table with a bunch of Hershey, teeth. you don't know what Hershey wanted. You don't know what Hershey I don't, wanted. I'm not saying I knew what Hershey I wanted. I don't know what Hershey Maybe wanted. Maybe you, you didn't know, know what Hershey, Hershey wanted. Wanted. But I know that Hershey has gone to a better place now, so... Did you front door lock? Yes. Excuse me a minute. Would you lock my door? Rhetorical question. I'm just going to finish this up and you can leave afterwards. Right. So, liquidated your assets. You have a fascination with the historical and antique, and you also team, seem to have a predilection for um, trying to divinely run away or impulsively run away, whichever one might apply to your intentions, your awareness level, and all of that jazz. Okay, so uh, you've read my fortune. I um, have. These are what are tooth. Mm -hmm. ruins what mm -hmm. um you're pretty off base but what you've told me has revealed something about you and uh maybe the way that you operate maybe we're not so unalike um i might suggest may i suggest go ahead i was about to say we're not alike in the sense that while you're speaking, I am remaining quiet and silent. I understand the meaning of silence, unlike some people. So our definition of being alike is voided because you have a habit of interrupting me and I don't return the same. If there was a ticker counting the number of words each of us has said 
in the last what, 20 minutes, whatever it is. Yours would be, yours would have extra digits. Uh, I, I have not said anything. The stars have said everything. Well, the stars are a bit of blabbermouth sometimes, right? I'm just saying, right? Like, they just, they got a lot. The divine, the divine has now closed. And I am ready Your third for whatever. Eye. It, it's blinked. It's gone to sleep. Mm-hmm. I am ready for whatever it was that you decided were your observations. Okay, well, like I was saying before you interrupted me, and also while interrupted me, pointed out like how I've been interrupting you, which is ironic, don't you think? Um, I just, I got a little bit from what you were doing that I think uh, maybe revealed how you came to these spectacularly wrong answers. Hmm. Huh. But yet, it's you call my answer spectacularly wrong, yet everything you have just observed is spectacularly wrong. Isn't it ironic? I mean, it's not like a black fly in your Chardonnay or anything, but it's close, I guess. Here's what I was saying. I think the line of work that I'm in, uh-huh. I'm not a doctor, but uh, I sometimes have to... Uh, see things that, you know, maybe doctors have to see sometimes, you know, there's some overlap there. Like, I mean, seeing teeth, that doesn't bother me. Seeing, oh, Hershey, Hershey scuttled off. That's nuts. Um, But I do have a line of work wherein sometimes I have to maybe deceive people a little bit. And what I think, if I may, uh, you know, I'm, I'm asking first and then begging forgiveness. Uh, um, I wash my hands um, so thoroughly. Look at, look at those nails. There's nothing in there. You decapitated. I didn't realize that. Okay, I'll keep Penelope. it. Penelope. Okay, Penelope's head is back on. Um, I'm going to give you my, this is where you, you just can't grab it like that. I mean, at this, this point, you can't really stitch someone's head back on. Well, it's I perfect. Mean, Look at that. Comes off, goes on. No big deal. Wait a minute. I've done it before. Why do you... Do you, by chance... Do you... I sensed in this human remains section and doctor section... I mean, the doctor section might be wrong, but the unethical relationship with human remains. Um, do you... Was that wrong, by chance? or do you No, that wasn't wrong. Here's what I think happened. I think I went to the bathroom. I think you looked through my bag. But the thing is, it's not my bag. I mean, it's my bag. But is that your style? Uh, well, it, I mean, it has like this nice tartan interior. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm a fan of that. But yeah, no, it's so nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the stuff in it is not mine. Or is only tangentially oh, mine. Wow, you stole an entire bag? You could say that. Wow. Um, so, Wait. Yeah, I'm not a religious man. Like I said, like I go to church for the ladies. And with abs like that, like, how can you? Yeah. I mean. So not a man be, of faith. Yeah, not, not a man of faith. Um, and then the liquidated assets. Liquidated assets. Are yours? I mean, possession is nine tenths of the law, so yeah, they're mine, sure. Okay. This uh, syringe. It's a syringe. You know, you can use syringes for lots of things. You can use them to deliver life-saving vaccines. You can use them to deliver uh, uh, microchips. You know, or you can lethal use them to injections. deliver lethal injections. Yeah, 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 polonium. You know, any kind of. Uh, Hmm. Things that might, you know, they can help and they can hurt. It's not about the tool, it's about how it's used, right? And this, he was a friend of mine. I knew him. Johnny? Horatio. Yeah. You know, he's got all his teeth. And he's happy. He's smiling. He didn't know, he didn't know what was coming. He didn't see it coming. He didn't see it coming. I had my... Who am I to judge? It was an ethical 
sure. source. Sure. I'm guessing this is this is where you got the cocaine addiction. I thought you had it. Yes. I mean. Why don't you hold that? Oh, a doctor. Yeah. Oh, come on. Like, do doctors really walk around with stethoscopes in their I bags? I think so. That would be kind of weird. Be like a. What if someone just needs a checkup? Like, on a right off. Here's what I think. Right. Or here's rather, here's the fortune I'm going to tell you. I don't have a fancy crystal ball. No, you don't. No, I don't. I mean, I got some stuff here, but you know, nothing quite as fancy as your crystal ball. I will not put my fingerprints on this. No, they're already there. It's cool. Don't worry about it. I do have my own scrying device. It's a. Uh, it's not crystal, but it is nickel, and it's, uh, you know, it's 38, and the bore on this. Yeah, lead, there's some lead in there too, mm. a little copper, maybe even a little mercury. Mm -hmm. So what I'm seeing when I touch my scrying implement is really just like a question I need to ask you. Are your ethics fungible? Well, they're pretty fun. Yes. It's close enough. Let me uh, follow that up with another question. And feel free to, like, be inspired to answer by the presence of my, of my scrying device. I'm feeling a lot of cancer energy from that, and... Is that good? No. Um, it's, it's maternal, but, like, not in a good way. It's weird. I don't know when I was born. My mom died. I have no idea when I was born. Well, let's just say your mom kind of screwed up the cards for you. Let's just say that you are forever and perpetually screwed over by that. It's me. I have the scrying device in front of me. That uh, doesn't take away from your Scorpio energy. Fair enough. In fact, it adds to it. Probably. In fact, it's defined by it. And I will use my last breath to make sure that a Scorpio knows that it's a Scorpio. As the Scorpion Stinger. A thousand percent. Okay. Well, it's a part stinger in. The courage of your convictions, it's admirable. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not asking you to fall on your sword. Well, as long as you don't challenge the stars, I won't fall on my sword. But what I'm saying is like, sometimes there are bad people in this world who maybe need to be removed, but uh, there's no, let's say, conventional uh, tra traversal path by which you can get to removing them. So you have to use other arrangements. I a thousand percent agree. And if this person's a Sagittarius, I a thousand percent agree. Oh, he's such a Sagittarius. Oh my God. He's annoying. The removal process for a Sagittarius, although I understand, like, introversible, but it's like traversing needed. Like, I will no, traverse I, tra I traversed it. I traversed you traversed it. it? I traversed it. I traversed it. That's why... Wait, what? is that a Sagittarius? Yeah, yeah, this is a Sagittarius. This is... I mean... Also, that was a Sagittarius. Couldn't you maybe tell by feeling the bumps on the... Am I getting my pseudosciences... Mm -hmm. No, no. Me, my my follow up question and the only thing that concerns me right now was this a male Sagittarius or a female Sagittarius? This was a male. A male Sagittarius, yeah. alright. Female Sagittarius is it's like fiery, venturous. Male Sagittarius is same deal, just adding a link to it. Well okay, well I, I there's a few things that made me think that maybe this could not go as bad as, as I maybe thought when I walked in here. That's Capricorn energy. Are you by chance born towards the later, later of the year? I don't know. Beginning of the year. My mom screwed me. Oh, that's right. Complete, complete amnesia as to the date of birth, time. None. None. You don't even remember a little bit when you were born? I mean, did I you wanna, look at the clock? I want to say, I mean, I did look at the clock when I was born. Okay. But it was, did you happen to catch the time? Well, but yeah, but I couldn't tell if it was, like, I didn't know AM or PM yet. I was just an infant. Okay, but like, even if it's AM or PM, like, that's two options out of, like, infinity. 
Um, so we could whittle it down. I just remember the hands were like spread very wide. Okay. So, okay. I mean, it could have been 315 or 945. Do you have another I'm sorry, 345 or 915. Yeah. Calendar. Calendar quick. Cal calendar. Yeah, 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 calendar. Yes. What was on the calendar? A cat. Do you, have, like a do you remember kitty. the number? The number? And the day. Yes, the month, the name, and the day. Like the number. I want it was a double digit number, so it would have been maybe 27 or something 27, like that. 27, 27. Yeah. All right. Of what month? It was a shorter month. Shorter. I couldn't February. read. I couldn't read then. Febu February seems no, like a word that would be no, tough to read. I mean the word was yes. short. The name the of the month was short. Was March. Something July. like March. Yeah. March, April. March, April 27th. June. June. All right. It wasn't November. I know that. We can work with this. We can work with this. But, we can work with this. Yeah, so what does, that, what does that mean? What, it's a Capricorn energy. Okay. Well, would you like some of this Capricorn energy? I need to confer with the stars first. Saturn is telling me that yes, I would like some of that Capricorn energy. Would you like to say 40% of the energy within this Capricorn bag? Let me confer with Saturn. She's transferring departments to Jupiter. Did you just call Saturn a she? Saturn feels like a she. I'm all right with that. I, you know, Jupiter open has confirmed 40%. Didn't Jupiter eat one of his own kids? Well, I guess we know about percentages from Jupiter because Jupiter is telling me that it's 40% is fine. 40% is fine. I'm glad that Jupiter agrees. So I was in your bed. Oh. Yeah, Lucifer's returned to me. Lucifer's watching you. Lucifer is basically telling you that although he might be here in order to collect my soul very soon, what he's actually telling you is that you're going to be absolutely black marked when you go to hell for this. Like, he's not going to want to party with you. But you know what? I'm going to be in the in crowd partying with Lucifer if you were to so chance decide to take the action in which I can kind of see happening by telling Lucifer that no, don't worry, I got a baby. Does Lucifer dust? Listen, Lucifer does what Lucifer wants, as do I. So if we don't feel like dusting, which is always the case, then we will not. That's fair enough. Um, so I noticed when I was in your bathroom, you've got some, you've got bloody urine. You've got like your own teeth. Mm. You've, you've got a lot of strange stuff in here, but in your- It's called a party. It's, <laughs> and I brought my own BYOG. G. Yeah, and J. BYOJ. Anyway, in your bathroom, I happen to notice that you have a, a bizarre amount. Of lavender vanilla hand soap? Yeah, you did. I mean, that was like a tub. Yeah. That was, that was a lot. But you also <laughs> had a lot of quick lime, which yeah. is highly unusual. I'm wondering why well, a fortune teller would need so much quick lime. Or any quick lime, really any quick lime at all. It's two reasons. Number one. Lucifer does not sit well with mortals sometimes. And number two, oftentimes when I'm predicting someone's future, it does seem to be something that's a little too heavy or a little too strong for them to handle. So, in both cases, what often happens is that they excuse themselves to the bathroom and they take the absolute most damned dookie and I have to go in and clean it up. And I refuse to do that. I have to dump quick lime in order to solve it. Huh. So people's futures cause them to shit bricks. Yeah. Well, so that's true in, in any cat's true in the case of coming in to get your, their future read by you. It also comes in pretty handy when someone decides to bring a BYOG to your place of yes. business. So this can also cause people to shit bricks, literally. They also cause them to come basically just little more than large inconvenient bricks of organic matter decaying and smelling and you gotta find a way to get rid of it right and that happens to me every time i eat hot cheetos i don't even know what you're talking I don't about know, yeah like you should not be eating hot cheetos it's you might as well just eat the quick line directly that. might as well eat clorox yeah both you make you know, cocktail might as well eat fabuloso i don't know what that is but might as well just eat i don't know freaking and acids. Why are you eating acids every day? I be eating antacids in my hot cheetos.
That's probably smart. I pepper smart. my antacids over my hot Cheetos. So they're covered in like Cheeto dust so and antacids. Exactly. That's a life hack. Granted, between you and me, I'm not going to lie to you. Peppery and add acids to your hot Cheetos. It's not a good idea. Not on your bowels. Okay. So your quick line serves, a, it's multivariate. It serves a lot of purposes. That's great. So here's my question to you. If I had some, I mean, let's just call them bricks of shit mm -hmm. in my Cadillac Seville mm -hmm. parked Why outside. Why do you have bricks of shit in your Cadillac oh, Seville? Your no. Cadillac Seville is a piece of shit. Oh, oh come on. Who, who's, got the, who's got the scrying device? I'd rather die right. All I'm asking is that you don't call my Cadillac Seville a piece of shit. Pisces just talked to me, and you're right. I got a, I got a fish sticker on the back of my car. Does that help? Soul man of faith. I no, like I said, I do it, I do it for oh, the ladies. Oh, that's so. right. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah. So honk if you love Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, so the question that I wanted to pose to you was, assuming, based on your discussions with Jupiter and Saturn, yeah. who genders are non-determinant. No. Uh, but they've decided that maybe you wanted to share some of this imperialist currency, mm -hmm. um, which is also uh, non-fungible. Right? Um, unlike your ethics, which are fungible and fun. Um, I would be happy to share that 40% with you if you would allow me to go to my brick of shit on four wheels and take out a few garbage bags of bricks of shit and dispose of them in your, you had a tub and a toilet. Yeah. Right. Using some of your quick lime and your facilities and the fact that your, I mean, your storefront is, is, you know, tinted, the windows are tinted and there's like bright neon, you can't see in. It's great. You couldn't have come into a better psychic shop. You can literally, Terms and conditions may apply. All results are varied. Take your bags of shit into the bathroom. Um, through the back door, there is one behind the pantry that you just opened up. You can go through there, get to your That car. door goes out back? Yes. Back to the alley? Yes. So and this place was designed for this. Exactly, because it... Yes. So you go in, you go out, you dump it in the quick lime. Make sure that you don't leave any traces behind. I will cancel my appointments for today and tomorrow, and you can feel more than at ease doing what it is that you need to do. I'm just saying, like, like what are the odds that like the layout would be so conducive to it? It's almost like we just like made it up. Or just... It's almost like the people who built this building built it for a reason. Because let's just say that the last time someone told me that my fortune was wrong, I yanked out every one of their tooths. These aren't your teeth. Listen. listen. I knew these were not your teeth. Well, it's because you're not a psychic. Because if you did know, you would be like me, knowing that these are not my teeth. You could feel their energy and souls. Duh. But that's why you come to a professional psychic. Because I'm the one who already knew that fact. But you, of course you knew it. Yeah, because I'm a psychic. Okay. <laughs> All right, so 40%. Yeah, 40%, can... and also, could you please remove your fortune-telling scrying of tool? Of course, yes. yes. Oh, no need for this. No need for this. I would, I would most appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. I don't really know how it works anyway. Oh. Well, damn, maybe you should in this line of business. Yeah, just showing it is all you need to do. Show it, you get what you want. So true. I prefer it. It's much, much... Quieter. Oh, snap. You actually use the syringe? I've, I've used the syringe, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's wild. Don't worry. I, I got an autoclave at home. I, I make sure it's nice and sterile. Wow. Sterile. Sterile. The syringe is not having babies. No. No. And nor is anyone who gets injected. injected. Oh, my God. Ironically. No baby injection. No. This is like the anti-baby anti injection. Anti-baby injection. Yeah. I mean, hey... Burial, bathroom, bricks, burning, 
breaking away, I am totally down for all of these concepts. All I ask is that you just don't harsh my aura. Well. And also that you use a crap ton of that lavender, vanilla, yeah. and soap. Yeah. I cannot have this place smelling like whatever it's about to smell like. I mean, honestly, like it's all decay has like a sweet smell to it. I mean, for some, for others, it smells like a rotting, nasty smell. But you know, come see, come saw. I'm just saying, you might actually grow fond of it. And you might be like, hey, if you keep bringing more of this, then I could also keep bringing more shit. And we could maybe do this again. Oh, so you're talking about a little a little business proposal. Maybe, maybe, yeah. I mean, the thing is, you talk a lot. Right? Maybe well, let's didn't... just say that, like... If Jupiter and Saturn become more of a voice inside of my head, the more reserved planets, the more quiet planets, then I'm probably going to take on a less Virgo, Gemini energy and go more for the Jupiter-Saturn energy, which is Leo and Capricorn. Um, so you wouldn't even have to worry about that, honestly. I, I like none, of, none of what you just said made any sense to me at all. Miss Gucci, mm. That means listen to me. Yeah. Even though you just spoke again. So I'm just showing off this, my Duolingo this skills. This is going to be a great deal. Because, ironically enough, it was blessed by the power of Aquarius. We are now traversing the energy of Uranus. And within this space, within this gravity, we find many oddities. Oddities, bizarreties, weirdness, just a complete and utter wrapping up of that which remains condemned within the shadow, the taboo, the unconventional. Now this session, this meeting might have been random and odd, and it might have been completely twisty and turny. However, however, it has been blessed by your by race. race. Yeah. On the power of Uranus, I have realized that we are now traversing Uranus's gravity, its presence, and its holy divination upon this current meeting, this exchange, although, albeit completely random, completely off the draw, completely unpredicted. However, what is Uranus, the power of Aquarius, if not unpredictable? Now, as we continue on with this deal, let me just say I acquiesce. And not only do I acquiesce, I so gratefully you accept it. And beyond that, we are now within the energy of Uranus. And within that energy, I hope to go very deep and profound with you. Now, I do agree to your terms, and we do have a deal. Thank you, madam. What's your name? No name. I have no boxes on me. Uh, okay. Good. Sounds good. I'm going to go out to my car and get the stuff to cram in the shitter. I only have one more question for you. Sure. When you used the bathroom, did you wash your hands? I absolutely did not. 